Okay guys, so got a bit of an interesting video for you today. Uh, for anyone out there who's interested in what the inside of a standard scooter exhaust looks like, today is your lucky day. Uh, this exhaust actually comes off of a Chinese two-stroke scooter from 2007, uh, this one here in fact. Uh, the engine is a um, Marini horizontal 50cc two-stroke, uh, but uh, obviously a Chinese copy. So it's a very good copy uh, as far as, you know, um, the design. Obviously, you know, the actual quality of materials and stuff like that, it will be a bit different to the kind of Marini engines you'll see in the early Suzuki Katana 50s and things like that. But it's basically the same engine. You can swap the same parts on and stuff like that. Uh, this particular bike, I do actually have the uh, cylinder and piston and everything from a Suzuki Katana on there. So, um, yeah, there you go. Uh, but I had a bit of a problem the other day, was riding down the road and basically lost pretty much all power. Uh, the bike probably had about 10% power, um, which, you know, considering it's a 50, it never had much to begin with. So I struggled and got home. Uh, and took, had a look around, couldn't find anything wrong, took the exhaust off, gave it a shake and there was tons of stuff moving around in there so I figured this thing's pretty knackered, obviously needs a new exhaust. Uh, so as this one's knackered anyway, I'll cut it open and we can have a little look what's actually inside. So uh, what I'll do is I'll take everything out and we'll sort of start here and work our way along so this is the end cap uh just quickly i'll show you guys what actually happened so you, you can see this pipe here um obviously that's where the exhaust gases come through and then come out here uh what actually happened is all of the wadding has just disintegrated from this exhaust i, I don't know i mean this is like 2007 uh but it's been off the road for a long time so i don't know how many years it was actually on the road uh but apparently it was long enough to just completely disintegrate the uh the wadding i mean this is literally all that's left inside the exhaust which is interesting uh but basically what happens uh, this had actually got stuck inside the pipe here uh and blocked it hence Obviously, I lost power suddenly because uh, that got sucked into there. Um, so anyway, let me, let me pull this up. There's another section that comes out. That's it, I'll show you that in a minute. So let's start with the back of the exhaust. So obviously, the exhaust gases exit out of the cylinder, come into here. And then the first thing that they come into in this exhaust, and it's going to be not too much different with a four stroke exhaust i know this one's a two stroke but the actual design uh for these standard exhausts isn't that much different because this isn't um you know there's no expansion chamber in this exhaust like you'd find on a performance exhaust for a two stroke uh this is a very similar design to a four stroke so yeah basically exhaust gases come through the pipe here and then the first thing they come across is this now that looks like a catalytic converter and potentially could be. This is a 2007 bike, so for emissions, they could have put a cat in there. But the thing is, being Chinese and also mm, for various reasons, I don't know necessarily if that is actually a cat. I think um, if, it, if it is made of the same precious metals as a catalytic converter, then it is. And I've certainly seen catalytic converters that look like that. Uh, but I would wager that's probably just made of steel or something, and it's more of a baffle than a, anything else. It's kind of like a filter, but I think that's just there to add back pressure and, uh, you know, add a bit of resistance into the line uh, for the back pressure. And, um, yeah, just to act as a baffle, because obviously as the sound waves and as the exhaust is coming through that, it's going to deaden it. So that's the first thing it comes across. Okay, let's put that down. So the next thing happens is it comes across this. Now this is sitting in here like this. And as you can see, that's that's completely like a blanked off plate with just one exit. So the exhaust is effectively forced to go through that hole that way. And then it enters into this sort of chamber here. Now this would normally be surrounded by the wadding, but as I say, this is literally all that's left of it. That should actually be much more and like, you know, around the outside of this. But anyway, that's sitting in there with the wadding around it. Again, the exhaust comes through into the chamber. Uh, the sound waves and everything else bounce around in here and are absorbed by that matting, which helps to quieten it down. Um, yeah. And then finally, so that's like here. 
And then finally, we have this bit. Uh, and as you can see, what happens here is the exhaust gases come through and basically have to bounce off the um, this part. They bounce off there before finally going in through this pipe and eventually exiting out the exhaust there. Now, the reason they do this is um, obviously they don't want the exhaust gases to come straight through because that will make them louder and it would also just change the uh, performance characteristics. Uh, so they design these standard exhausts in this way so that there are basically chambers. The exhaust doesn't just come straight through, it goes into one chamber, then into another, and then does something else, and then finally goes out. Um, so yeah, there you go, guys. Uh, as I say, this is off of a two-stroke, but a four-stroke version won't be hugely different, uh, depending on the model and engine and everything else you might find especially on the newer ones they do actually have a genuine catalytic converter in them and uh, some other stuff um but yeah like i say this is from 2006 so there you go now i could actually it is possible to just get some i could get some wadding uh, just rewrap this stick it all back in and um like just weld it back together but the thing is this you can kind of see and the reason i was hearing that moving around is because this is actually um let me see if i can show you in here yeah you can see yeah you see this all this bent up stuff in here that's all corroded well that this originally would have been actually attached to that you can see those jagged edges where it's basically come away um so yeah i'd have to basically cut the whole thing apart find a way of reattaching that and then weld it all back together uh, it's just not worth the hassle exhaust systems for these bikes are so so cheap anyway um especially if you just want like a standard or a you can get like sports exhausts that look like standard exhausts and you know they're like what anything from 60 to 80 quid so it's just not worth bothering with that to some people it might be but yeah um so yeah there you go guys as i say for anyone who was ever interested that's what the inside of your scooter exhaust mostly looks like